Hi guys, welcome to Cameron's Corner. You know, it's been ages since I used the jelly plate. Uh, over a year, I think, maybe. Um, so I thought, you know what, let's let's try out the new Arteza acrylic colors on a jelly plate. See if that works. So, um, yeah, let's just get started. <laughs> I think if it uh, if it really works, I want to tear out a part of, of the print and put it in an art journal. And if I don't like it, I don't know. <laughs> Let's just find out. So I've got all these nice colors and I have to watch out that I don't um, work over here. So I really need to put them all the way over there. So I have to take a Groot off my desk. Whee! It's a Christmas Groot. <laughs> I like it so much. Oh, stay put Groot. Okay, so uh, let's just do it like this. You can't see the colors like this. Oh, well. Well, that's a nice, nice start. Okay. You can't see it all, but it's over here. So I've got my jelly plate. And I use a lot of yellow, <laughs> as you can see. Okay. And I am going to use WH Smith paper. This is something I buy every time I go to the UK. They have, let me just get out a few of them. They have such nice paper and it's just three pounds 50. So that was a nice deal. So I'm gonna have one over here to clean my brayer with. My jelly plate. Now what? <laughs> At first I'm just gonna use it just as a background and let's see what it does and then i might take out my stencils and stuff you can't see it i really need to push it further okay i forgot my brayers just a second <laughs> brayer okay now i've got everything i think so um now i have to figure out some color so i really like yellow i always like yellow and um let's go for some purple and rose, why not? Where is it? Oh, <laughs> and maybe something blue. Should I use bright blue or cobalt blue? Oh, let's go for this. The yellow is a bit, I like bright color. So I'm gonna put lots of yellow on here, mid yellow. So squirt over here, squirt over here. And a bit of rose, that's a nice color. Oh, well, that's a bright color. <laughs> okay, it's a <laughs> oh, boy. And a bit of cobalt blue, which is brighter than I thought. Maybe I should make a, I have no idea, how do you call it, the swatch card or any or something like that. A, a card with the uh, colors because they are always very different from what you see on here. Although I thought on the box it was quite all right. Let's see, the rose. No, rose is really dark. It's not as dark as this. So uh, yeah, I need to make a card like that. Although I liked being surprised. So let's see what this does. Oh, wow. <laughs> All right. This doesn't do that much, does it? <laughs> oh wait, you just have to be patient. So this is a really thick paint. I normally use Amsterdam paint or really, really cheap paint. And maybe that's it. The really cheap paint doesn't have that much. Um, I wanted to say texture isn't as thick as this. And um, so for the jelly plate, that's really nice. Oh, that's pink. Because then it's too so fluid that it just floats everywhere. Although I do like this effect, but it's not what I wanted. Okay. So I have this paper over here to uh, oh wow that arrived quickly to put this over here to put this over here <laughs> to clean my brayer guys okay so I have this what shall I do shall I just leave it like this and make a print or shall I just uh, I do have let me just find them somewhere 
I do have these things. These are... What are these? I took them out of the packaging. Um, printing texture. Texture print plates or something like that. From Carabelle Studio. And I absolutely love these. You can just push them in here and then you get this. Really nice. Uh, maybe some of this. I like just do it like this. Not, not, not think about it. Just do something. And then you get these little textures, which is really nice. So, a bit of texture. You can also use... I found this again. This is... These are kids' stamps. I bought at a flea market one day for uh, maybe 25 cents or so. So you have these little things you can stamp with, which is really awesome. Or make a circle. Or triangle. Why not? I have no idea how this is going to look, but you also have waves like this. These are really nice things to... really nice finds. Let's just make a print, <laughs> because it shouldn't wait too long, of course. Ooh, what's it gonna do? So to be honest, um, I think it's a bit too... It's not really made for a jelly plate. It's not fluid enough. And it dries a bit too quickly. <laughs> But I do like this. I really like those uh, these little stamps. Um, it's already dry. It dried too quickly. So, the question is, what do I do now? It dries so quickly, I can't get this off anymore. So I do really like this. But I wanted the whole print. It's dry already. There's nothing on here. Okay. So... That's not really what I wanted. So, uh, pool. You know what? Let's do that again. Let's do it again. Uh, lots of yellow. So I'm gonna put three of them over here. And I love this pink color. Bit over here. Bit over here. Uh, oh, that's a lot over there. Oh, I'm, can you see it? That's just a bit too much. Oh, well. So, a bit dark. And a bit of blue. Okay. You know what I'm going to do? I have no idea if this is going to work. I'm just going to spritz some water on it. Spritz, spritz, spritz. Now it's probably too wet. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's just too wet. Oh, well. Let's just have some fun with it. So, uh, yeah, that didn't work quite the way I wanted it as well. Although... <laughs> Let's just put a little bit more on it. Why not let it flow a bit? Well, I have no idea if this is going to work. Okay, let's just pull a print before it dries, because this paint is actually too thick and it dries too quickly to use on a jelly plate. That's too bad, but who knows. Oh, okay, but I like this. Look at that. Oh, that looks awesome. Ooh, okay. Can I pull another print with this one? Shall I go over it again? Let's just try it. Why not? Let's see if I can pull off a bit more paint. Nah. Whoa, I love this. Shall I do another one? Uh, I think I need to clean this. Because uh, the paint dries so quickly. Which can be a good thing. But for the jelly plate it's just a bit too quickly. Because normally I would just pull this off with uh, another sheet. But it's already dry. And I don't mind a bit of paint on here. It gives a nice effect if you, you know, make a print and there's suddenly a bit of paint that you didn't intend. Well, you don't intend to do anything with the jelly plate because it just happens. Um, so I try, but like I said, uh, I, I want to clean this a bit better because I want to start fresh. Let's do it one more time. So, uh, I'm gonna do loads of yellow. Really, yellow over here, yellow over here, yellow over here, yellow over here. <laughs> and I, this was the pink, yeah, I love the pink. 
So a dot of pink, dot of pink. And a bit of blue. Just a little bit. And very little of the dark color, but just a little bit. And loads of water. Let's do that again. Whoa, that's loads of water. Okay, first I'm gonna start with the yellow because I like the bright color. <laughs> and then a bit of pink in there. And a bit of blue. Okay, let's see what this does. Let's just put the print immediately. This looks awesome. If this is awesome, nah, I put it on. I didn't put it on straight. Oh well. If this is awesome, I'm gonna make an art journal page with this one. Let's just see. <laughs> it's really hard to pull off. It's really hard to pull off. <laughs> Oh, it's tearing. Ah, no. Awesome. Uh, so there are little spots that it didn't pick up the paint. But I do love it. Look at this. It's so different from normal because it's it dries too quickly. It just dries too quickly. So should I go over it with a bit water? Spritz and try to... And a bit here. Try and do it again. Might ruin it now. <laughs> you can't you can't get this off again. Uh, I'm going to use this one or am I going to use this one? They're both awesome. Look at it. But I really want to use the light color. So um, let's just see if I can do I have a bit of paper that I can use? Uh, well this one then. It's always a mess when you do this. Let's see if I can pull it off when... Ah! Don't do that. When I do this... <laughs> Just a little bit. So, to be honest guys, this is not the best paint to use with your jelly plate. Because it just dries too quickly, it doesn't spread really nice and evenly. Oh, I could have left this on. Oh well. And, um... It's just not fluid enough. I think that's it. Uh, and maybe it's because, like I said, I'm used to using very cheap stuff that's too fluid and doesn't have enough pigment in it. This has lots of pigment in it. So this is awesome paint. But for the jelly plate, mwah, I'm not sure. Although, having said that, I don't think this is really nice jelly plate paint. But this, guys... It's awesome! Look at it! So when you use it with loads of water, the way I just did, that's I have never done that with any other paint, because you don't need to. I normally use the really cheap paints, and those are awesome because they have le not that much pigment, but are very fluid and you just it just goes everywhere uh, on your jelly plate. It's very easy to work with. This is not easy to work with on your jelly plate, but when you use loads of water, you get this. And I have never had an effect like this before, and I absolutely love it. <laughs> so, uh, uh, but to be fair, I have never used it with a different kind of paint before, so maybe you get the same results with other paints. But I, what I love about Arteza is that they have this... How do you say that? I want to say shiny finish, but it's it's not really shiny. It's, I mean, then I think of glitter and shimmery stuff. But it has, it looks a bit like it's plastic. Can I say that? I ha it just has this nice glossy finish. Maybe that's the word. And I love that about these paints. It's, it's really, I love it. So uh, I'm going to leave this to dry. And then I'm going to use one of these. I think this one. And um, use it on an art journal page. Yes. Really happy with this. So this was a happy accident because I thought, hmm, it's not gonna work. But look at it. Okay guys, this has been drying for a few hours. So it's now in the evening. I'm going to use this one. They're so awesome. So um, I'm going to put the inks, the paints back. And let's just see. Just stack them up over here. Okay, 
So I need my art journal for this. Oh, I do need the paints again because I want to put this in my art journal. If I can find a... Oh, this will be nice next to this one. This is uh, when I got this journal. Um, was at a workshop with Diane Reevely and she signed it for me. I asked her to and then everyone asked it. <laughs> she had to sign them all. So I think this might be nice next to this one because it is colorful. So I thought I'd put a pink edge around it and then I have found some pictures that I thought were cute. Oh, these are Valentines. Okay, be mine. <laughs> I found these, the, uh, when I was looking for pictures, these fell on the ground, so... I've seen your Facebook status, that's really funny. Oh, this one is cute, I love this one. Somehow this gives me a bit of a 50s, 60s feel. So this will be nice, but I don't like the colors. This one is cute. <laughs> Let me tear it off a bit. Oh, this one is creepy. Oh, this one is nice. I like this. Hmm. This one. Or this one. It's really, really creepy. You're weird, but I like you. <laughs> um. But what about this one? I could. T ooh, if I if that works, I could tear this or cut it with a little pink border around it, and then. You know what? Let's just try if I can cut this to size. Whoa, this is really a thick postcard. <laughs> so let's just see. Can you tear this? No. Okay. I wanted to tear it. That would have been nice, but that's a bit too much to ask. I think I bought these cards in Amsterdam at the Bijenkorf. Uh, actually, this is from Paper Chase, I think. There is a little paper, paper Chase store in there. And I like the fact that it's old fashioned and it has, it must be true, I read it on Facebook. <laughs> I like the combination. Okay, there we go. Oh, I like it. But I don't like this. I do like this. Okay, now what? Okay, now I tear this to size, so that means just tear a little bit, just a little bit of the edge. So I would have liked it if I could have torn this, but oh well. That was a bit too thick. I really like this paper as well. It's not too thin and not too thick, so just right. When I tore it off the jelly plate, I didn't like these little parts, but now I actually really do. And a little bit this side. Like this. Or like this. Oh, I would have liked it like this. <laughs> okay. Now it's a bit too small. Oh well. But I do want to paint it. Um, I think it's almost the same color pink that that rose, which isn't rose at all. Yeah, it's the same color as that one. Duh. So let's just do that. Put this over here to protect this. How am I gonna do it? That's a good question. With that brush that I still haven't found. With this brush. So I am going to put a little bit of water next to it to dilute it a bit more because it is something that I would like when I use it. I want it to be a bit diluted. Now this might be a bit too much diluted. Oh, it's never okay. <laughs> yeah, this is too much. I want it to be brighter. Oh boy. Like 
this. This is nice. Okay, here I go. Okay, nice. I'm glad I put this over there because I made a smudge over here. Oh dear. And where is the, where's the little lids? Be my br brush a bit. Um, <laughs> I don't know where it is. Oh, here it is. Hidden away. So you really, really need to dilute this paint. Uh, I'm not sure uh, how that is with different paints. Although I do know that Amsterdam paint I never dilute. I just use directly. But maybe it's normal that you have to do that. And I don't really care because I think it's really awesome paint. And this you should clean under the tap, but then I have to get up. <laughs> okay, I'll do it better later on. Okay. So, let's put this over here. I'm gonna leave the edge white. I like it. Okay, this is awesome. And I don't think it needs anything else. Okay, let's see if this is dry enough. I'm gonna dry this with my heat tool. Okay, so this paint dries really quickly, but because I want to glue something on it, it really needs to be dry. I did buy some new double-sided tape. <laughs> if you've been watching my videos, you know that uh, I was get running out of tape a bit more every video uh, I still bought the cheap one I don't it just doesn't even have a brand crafters college oh dear it was 99 cents so let's just for now try this and we, oh it has a tape on the tape right <laughs> and because it's uh, a bit of cheap well, I'm not sure if this is really good tape or not. I have no idea. But I am going to use a lot of it. I need different scissors. A tape scissors. Yeah. Okay, so I'm very generous with the tape. <laughs> but then it'll stick, I hope. Oh my gosh, this is awesome. I think I love the quote next to it. Because this is colourful. And this I'm going to glue on with this really awesome glue. What is it actually? Tombow glue. Oh, maybe they do have tape. Someone told me that Tombow tape. <laughs> I need to check that out, guys. Oh, I love this. I love the fact that it's almost exactly the same colour. It's really nice. What are the odds that you find a card with the same seam with the same color? <laughs> It'll stay on here. Oh well. <laughs> I really like that. It's just I was searching for pictures. Actually, I was looking for a magazine, and this one, and I did find it. But I didn't like the pictures inside, and then a whole bunch of cards and stuff fell on the ground with this one. So. It wanted to be in this book. <laughs> Oops. Oh boy, now I have got glue everywhere. Of course I do. <laughs> I'll just need the glue eraser in a second. Okay. And the last bit of text. And the question is, do I do more? Or am I just going to leave it like this? I love this quote. <laughs> um, let me think. What do you think? <laughs> so start screaming at the screen. What do you think? <laughs> Can I put a bit more glue in here? No. But I really want to. Is 
Is that glue? Boy, I hope I don't break it. Yes, a bit more glue. Now it's a bit too much glue. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, a bit too much glue. Oh well, you don't see it. And I'm gonna... I have a glue eraser somewhere around here. And I'm gonna erase the bits of glue that are just too much. Oh boy. I need to do this part as well. Boy, with way too much glue. <laughs> oh well, I'm getting better at it, although not on this page. Okay. Ta da! This looks awesome. Now, do I do something on the edge or do I leave it like this, guys? It's always a tough decision. I can see if I have ink in the same color. Nope. Melon. Mm -hmm. I do have these little stamps, my favorite little stamps, so this one would be nice, or this cutie. And <laughs> I can't get them out. Wait a minute. I like this one. And my favorite, this little one. I think I am going to use... Oh, my hands are so sticky. Okay. Um, melon Mambo. And... I think just a tiny one because... Yeah, just a tiny one. So... This one, you hardly see it, but that's what I want. Just something on the edge, just a little bit. And this color is perfect. It's Melon Mambo, is that what I said? Yes, by stamping up. I love this ink. Now I want something on here. Not too much. And then the little dots, where did they go? They're so little. I lost them. Oh, they're over here. These are so awesome. If you have a spot that you think it just needs something, then this is one of the best stamps ever. You can't even see it. Just three dots. I think I might have paid five euros or so for it, thinking that's just way too much money for such a small stamp. I used it so often. These two I use so often. I like them. Right, and one more over here, and that's it, that's it, finished. <laughs> My husband is very happy that, I'm, that it's finished, <laughs> he doesn't need to be silent anymore. <laughs> finished, oh my. <laughs> Ah, he still thinks I'm not filming. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh boy, guys. So, what I wanted to say. These two stamps. Just two little stamps. They are by Magenta and they are awesome. Need to clean them, though. Right, let's just clean my desk a bit. So, it's finished. And I think it's an awesome page. I really love the way this looks. Again, I haven't tried it out with any other paint, but to be honest, I think the Amsterdam paint will be too fluid. Maybe you just need to add less water. But these Arteza paints uh, really need water for what I do with it. Uh, use it as a background. And on the jelly plate, it really does need water. It's just, I, th I just think it's awesome. It looks awesome and I really love the, this card. I'm so happy I found this. My gosh, I think I bought it two years ago. <laughs> just put it on a little pile with stuff that didn't belong there where it was that's why it fell down and then i found it and it looks awesome really happy with it and now i'm just gonna leave this one empty but i don't mind because this is so colorful this looks really nice i might just put a little washi tape diane washi tape over here so i would love to know what you think about this page and uh, what kind of paint you use on your um, art channel i wanted to say on your jelly plate i normally use very cheap paint uh, that is really 
uh, fluid because it's very cheap and there's not that much pigment in, in there. But uh, I really like to use that on my jelly plate, but it doesn't have vibrant colors like this. So I'm ve again very happy with my Arteza paints. Um, even though if I, like I said a few times now, <laughs> it's not really for on the jelly plate, but when you use it like this, I think it's awesome on the jelly plate. So I'm very happy with this. And guys, um, if you want to try out some of the Arteza uh, paints, I have uh, affiliation links in the description box down below. Um, but you can go to this website if you click on it. There's one link for the UK and one link for the US. And um, then you go di directly to uh, this set. And of course you can check out the rest of the website as well. They have awesome products. And um, if you want to buy some of this, you get a 10% discount with if you put the code Karen's Corner in the promotion code uh, part when you order. And you get 10% off. So that's nice. And that's valid for a whole year, I think. So that's really awesome. So um, I'm not sure if I told you. I didn't get paid by Arteza to make this uh, video. I just got sent this and I just wanted to try it out on... Uh, my jelly plate, I already made a page with it just as a background. I'll leave that in the on the end screen so you can see that as well. So, um, and then they gave me affiliation links. So if you buy anything through those links, I get a, a little per percent, percentage, percentage. <laughs> in Dutch it's percentage, percentage. So, check it out if you like. Uh, and guys, I would love to know what you think about this page. The, the more I look at it, the more I like it. It's awesome. I want to make more of these. I really love them. And uh, you know, I would love to if you like, subscribe and leave a comment. And uh, well, all that's left to say now is, Groetjes from Holland. Greetings from Holland. Bye.